This is part two of my working short rows and stockinette stitch demo. In part one, I showed you how to work the wrap and turns. In this video, I will show you how to knit and purl the wraps as you reach them. A good first step is to look at your work to identify where the wraps are. Here are two tips to identifying them. First, look for the horizontal bar. Here's a good example. So this stitch is wrapped right here. So right underneath the stitch, you'll see this horizontal bar. So that's one way to identify it. The other way is look for the gap. There will always be a gap to the left of the wrap. It's a little hard to see in the first one because there's only one stitch here, but there's a gap here. And then notice how there's a gap right here. And then you'll notice the wrap is right to the right of that. Here's how to knit a wrap when you reach it. So I'm going to knit a few stitches until I get to my first wrap. So I can see that there's a wrap here because here is a horizontal bar right here. And I also have the gap that's right there. So the first step is I insert my right needle into the front of the wrap from the bottom to the top. Then I insert the needle into the next stitch as if to knit it. And then I wrap the yarn around the right needle and I knit them together. It might help to use your left hand to kind of hold down the wrap a little bit as you bring that loop through. And then you slide the stitch off of the left needle. So I have one more wrap to do. So I'm gonna knit one so I can get to the next wrap. We can do this again. So insert the right needle into the front of the wrap from bottom to top then insert it into the next stitch and then knit them together. Then I'll just knit that last stitch. On wrong side rows, you'll be instructed to purl to the end, purling wraps as you reach them. So first I will identify my wraps. On the wrong side, it's even more helpful to look for those gaps because the horizontal bar isn't as obvious on the wrong side of the work. So I'm gonna go ahead and purl to my first wrap. Okay, I reached my first wrap. And again, you can tell because here's my gap and my wrap is right to the right of it. So first I'm going to insert my right needle into the back of the wrap from bottom to top. Then I'm gonna lift it onto my left needle, but up and over the stitch like so. This way the wrap lays behind the stitch. Then I'm going to purl them together. Okay, let's do that one more time. So I have one more wrap over here. So let me purl one stitch. So I'm gonna insert the right needle into the back of the wrap from bottom to top. Then I'm gonna lift it up and over the stitch on my left needle so that the wrap will be behind the stitch. Use your index finger if that helps to kind of maneuver this around a little bit to make that happen. I'm having a little trouble with that, but that's normal. So I just use my fingers. There we go. Then I'm going to purl them together. That is how you knit and purl wraps as you reach them when working in stockinette stitch.